Bendy and Ink Machine got a bunch of news with a whole movie announced and some hidden information about it. Their next game, Bendy the Cage, got a Steam page with some screenshots and even a release date, and even some info on more Bendy games coming in the near future. So starting off with the Bendy movie, as everyone has talked about a million times at this point, Bendy and the Ink Machine last week, after being teased a bunch, has officially gotten an announcement that it's becoming a movie, with a whole new render saying Bendy is coming to the big screen. And while outside of the announcement, we haven't gotten much news obviously we can see here that the movie is going to be produced by radar pictures and while most of these video game films have some pretty shoddy producers like blumhouse productions who made the fnaf movie and studio 71 who will make the poppy playtime movie radar pictures has a pretty solid track record of making larger movies like the last samurai a texas chainsaw massacre and supposedly even certain jumanji movies as well so this is an experienced production company which is always good news granted i highly doubt it's going to be as big and as highly budgeted as something like FNAF. But outside of that, the Bendy developers have also said a couple things about the movies as well, saying we are super committed to making the Bendy movie as quality, scary, and honoring to the Bendy world as possible. It needs to be done right and with care, which is another extremely good sign for the devs, especially since they claim the movie is going to be scary, something especially that the recent FNAF movie struggled with. And also another dev described the movie saying one word, horror. Once again, restating this film is going to be a true horror movie, which is nice. But in terms of Bendy games, just a couple months ago, Bendy would get a brand new teaser trailer for a game titled Bendy the Cage, which was set to take place between Bendy and the Ink Machine 1 and Bendy and the Dark Revival. And as cool as that sounds, I wasn't really expecting to hear anything about this game for at least another few months while it was developed, but boy was I wrong. As after, again, some more teasing from the developers, out of absolutely nowhere, they tweeted out saying, the horrors of the pit are forming. Add Bendy the Cage to your Steam wishlist now. Linking an entire Steam page for the brand new title that tells us a bunch about the game. With an official banner image and logo and a description that reads, Bendy the Cage is a first person psychological horror game that takes place during the events of Bendy and the Dark Revival. The shadows are closing in. Fight the madness before it's too late. Bendy the Cage is the fearful story of Henry, the first game's main protagonist, and his escape from the keeper prison known as the pit the darkest souls have been banished to this deep hellscape of metal and blood survival will require you to fight the madness before it devours you whole also already giving us some system requirements showing what is needed and recommended for the game even saying it required 15 gigabytes of available space the same as bending the dark revival so this will be a larger title most likely and the game was actually even listed with a 2024 release date meaning yes this game is a officially coming out this year, which is way earlier than I was expecting, but I will more than take this day. Furthermore, we got a bunch of screenshots for the game that also hide a bunch of different information. Uh, starting with this first screenshot, we see Henry holding an axe, fighting off this weird caged ink character that you can see has a bright red texture all around his body. Now, usually these Bendy games are very lacking in color, unless it's a very important detail like the Dark Revival's boss battle. So I'm assuming this red coloration in some way is important to the story. In fact, in some somewhat recent Bendy leaks, we saw them testing other games and art styles where red was the only color they used, so maybe this will be a similar mechanic. The next screenshot shows the same creature from before, but this time in all black and in some weird caged off area. Which, judged from the fact that this game is meant to document Henry's escape from the pit, I assume this is likely an earlier scene in the game from when he first escapes his cell and encounters this new enemy who, by the way, is also holding a weapon of their own. Own. Plus, Henry himself is this time holding a completely new pipe weapon I don't think we've seen before, which I found pretty interesting. The next screenshot shows this new area that looks similar to the city area from Bending in the Dark Revival, which just like those looks incredible. And once again, Henry is holding the axe, suggesting there will be multiple weapons the player will have, which is a nice touch, especially since the first two games were criticized for having extremely primitive combat mechanics, and the visual upgrade is nice too. The next screenshot shows Sammy Lawrence interacting with the player player who was a big character in Bendy and the Ink Machine but was shoved into the side for the Dark Revival. But like Henry in the sequel, he was also locked inside of the pit area and we can see him reaching into these prison bars. So perhaps he could be a companion of ours or an enemy. We also see in the corner he has the same axe here from previous screenshots that Henry held so somehow we will get access to that as well. Then this final screenshot shows us being attacked by another ink creature who isn't wearing any sort of mask. And we can also see the player Henry actually using using this
this acts as a block mechanic against the character once again showing there will be more mechanics for combat inside of this game which is super nice but even outside of these screenshots we also got a ton of extra info about bendy in the cage from the developers as well um, for instance the devs did in fact confirm the player will be able to block during combat among other things whatever that means so the fighting elements seem to be a big focus part of this game which i love to hear also all the way back when the game is first announced they said it's clear while i'm working on it that bendy the cage has a much darker tone than the other main bendy games a more psychological horror feel some people may love it others may not but either way it'll be a unique experience meaning as we knew this game will be more focused on horror which these screenshots reflect as well also saying yes henry will move faster in bendy the cage than he did in the first game which is nice even teasing some more returning faces coming in the game as well saying with bendy the cage we are getting to experiment with new tools and new techniques not being one of the mainline games we get to go crazy with our ideas and push bendy lore into its darkest places the cage all still is canon to existing lore of course so prepare to see some familiar faces hinting again that this game will be unlike anything we've ever played and will likely contain some returning characters like audrey sammy lawrence as we saw and maybe even the ink demon among many more but speaking of sammy the biggest thing the devs confirmed about the title was sammy lawrence will play a more major role in the story of bendy the cage i can confirm this for sure he will be restored to his chapter 2 creepy glory referencing his appearance in chapter 2 of bendy and the ink machine meaning he will likely be an extremely important part of the gameplay which makes me super excited considering his lack of presence in bendy and the dark revival but while that's all we know about this new game supposedly coming here in just a few months in other game news last year the developers accidentally leaked an extremely early project called bendy silent city which also played with a new art style and new game mechanics with the bendy franchise and looked super cool but was admittedly super bare bones with the devs not saying much since then however with this new steam page for bendy the cage a fan asked about what happened to the silent city game which i personally am more excited for than maybe even bendy the cage itself and the developers actually responded saying bendy the silent city is not abandoned i just only have so many hands but there's a lot more of the game created than what was shown in that very old leak i really enjoy the project only time will tell if it ever finds its way to release no promises yet with another dev even replying imagine if the other stuff got leaked so clearly outside of bendy the cage there was much more in the pipeline granted the developers did say they weren't sure if the game would ever release so i'm not sure if this leaked game will see the light of day but with how different it looked compared to the newer bendy stuff it would be a shame to see such a neat looking project get completely abandoned but i get that their main focus is going to be on the slightly more traditional bendy media of course and it's crazy looking back to think in 2022 i made videos talking about how i thought this game franchise was dead and wanted the devs to prove me wrong and boy have they thus far i mean we just got a ton of movie and game news and if you want to learn more about bendy check out this video breaking down their teaser trailer and some other teasers not many people have talked about